Thanks for joining us and uh, today I'm going to show you a quick, just a quick snapshot on how to run a transaction within your first data global gateway. And as you already know, current link point users and European users have made the transition to this new gateway. It's similar to the existing one you already use, just a little bit easier, cleaner graphics. And I'm going to show you the virtual terminal. Uh, quickly, when you pull up the virtual terminal, I'm going to show you how to run a credit card transaction. So here's the order information. You put in your order number, the purchase order number, invoice number, the total, shipping amount, tax amount, total amount will be a dollar. And here you're going down to the next section, credit card information. So it's asking you the uh, transaction origin. I'm going to go ahead and click. This one was a um, mail order telephone order. It's going to be a sale. You could also do an authorization only or a forced ticket. I'm going to go do a sale. Card type accepted Visa, MasterCard, Amex, Diamonds Cup, Discover, JCB. Put in a credit card number. I'm going to go ahead and put in the expiration date and the card code. Also, it also has a little section here. If you're swiping the card, you go to click yes. That's for instance, you have a little MagTech reader. And you can also swipe the card right here and check out that box. Next segment will be the customer information. You put in the customer number and the customer name, billing street address, the city. You can choose state, country, zip code. Shipping information, if it's the same as billing, all you do is check out the box. It also, as you can see, has a little segment here for recurring billing. So you can put out recurring, you can say I want it once every 30 days, or every week, every month, or every year. You can start the what date, you can have an end, you can retry a transaction. It's a very good portion to have on this point. And lastly, other comments. Push continue. And it just recaps everything right here. And if anything that you missed, we'll be sure to have you fill that part in. And you can go double check that. And here's the receipt. You go to confirm it. And you push submit. And you're done. For more information, be sure to visit www.paymentmax.com.